So why is it, do you think, that the, the West seems so ripe for the picking when it comes to some of this stuff? The, the very fact that you make these points is very controversial in Western countries, mainly because there's a, a wide variety of people who have bought into a line of thought that says that to even talk about this stuff is in and of itself offensive, makes the situation worse, that the West is really the creator of the situation in the first place, that the West is the great oppressor in all of this. What is the mindset of the West that makes it uniquely vulnerable uh, to to th these sorts of behaviors in the sense that it won't defend itself against against cultures that obviously despise it. So radical Islam and terrorist attacks uh, that take place or that are plotted are unfolding in a context within Western society where there is a great deal of moral relativism. Uh, we're in the midst of these culture wars where uh, on one side, identity politics prevails. And according to the dictates of identity politics, multiculturalism, moral relativism, um, the West is held responsible for past sins, uh, from slavery to colonialism to the Holocaust. And the story of Western civilization is told only from that perspective. Just, uh, you know, a series of terrible things, heinous offenses against humanity that Western civilization committed. The other side of the story, all the good things that the West has done, that is not told or it is suppressed. And in that context, it becomes, you know, you open the door for exploitation and the radical Islamists who are pushing their political agenda through peaceful means called da'wah or through violence called jihad, they exploit that opening. And by the way, it's not just the radical Islamists, uh, both China and Russia and other adversaries are happy to exploit that sort of thing. But again, uh, Ben, you are absolutely right to pose that question because it's, I don't think that radical Islamic doctrine or its agenda is capable of defeating Western society. It's just militarily, economically, not capable of doing that. But if the West implodes, that's going to come from the inside. 